All right guys, Papa Pepper. Um, you know, I'm a big advocate for just taking advantage of opportunities and situations over taking advantage of people. So part of being on a homestead is animals uh, and animals to feed. In the winter, a lot of people switch over to hay at some point. One thing I don't really want is Bermuda grass hay. And another thing is that uh, it's not always cost effective to buy a bunch of hay. So recently, I saw where somebody was pulling a load of hay, a hay bale spilt off on the side of a dirt road, and it's been there for probably the better part of a week, which means if they realized it, you know, they probably gave up on it by now. It's enough work to, you know, cut down the hay and put it into rows and then bale the thing and then load the thing that they probably don't want to monkey around with it. So what I'm gonna do is just head out there with a the trailer, a couple pitchforks, and see if I can't get some free hay. Our property isn't really gonna be big enough for me to be making my own hay per se. I'll be able to save some of the scraps from the garden, like uh, corn, hominy, other stalks, uh, sorghum, stuff like that, and uh, you know, whatever we don't use ourselves and use that for some animal feed in the winter. But this is a good opportunity for me just to get some free food for my animals and uh, a little more physical labor keeps me in shape. So we're gonna do that now. You wanna grab the other pitchfork? What is it? By the garden. Sure. So again, this is just part of trying to be aware of my environment, uh, pay attention, see things around me that can be beneficial, and then uh, use them in ways that can that can help. So, you know, my stuff's pretty much eaten down out the window over there. And uh, I've got one last pasture to open up for these guys. I'm just gonna wait till they're done breeding so I can put all the, uh, the ewes and the does together, just keep the bucks out and let them enjoy that last pasture while some of the stuff still grows up. <clears throat> and we'll kind of head through there. Um, still kind of new at all this and you know I think one lesson I learned is that if you act like you have money you're not gonna because if you act like you have money that means spending it and eventually you'll spend it all which is why so many people who should be really really rich wind up bankrupt or in debt or just completely worse off than they started and then also um, you know if you act like you don't have money that's the only really way to save, is to have something and not spend it. So sometimes people maybe wonder why I don't buy new vehicles, new clothes, new other things. And the point is, you, you do much of that in life, you won't have anything left. Um, I could pick up a, you know, a round bale of hay. I'm not even sure what they go for. You know, but you can get one sometimes. Not all that expensive. And... Uh, you do that too many times though, and you'll spend a whole bunch of money doing it. So instead I get some quality time with my boy Monster Truck, right? We're gonna go use some pitchforks, pick this stuff up and uh, see how the animals like it. So here we are, big pile of hay, one round hay bale. Fell off on the side, I'm gonna see what I can load up, see what makes sense and go from there. Well guys, it looks like we're actually going to get two or three loads, so we're going to take this one back and uh, then come back for more, right? Mm -hmm. Alright, get down there, boy. So, this really is a big pile, and like I said, I've got another load or two to take. Um, in a situation like this, I could leave my family, go to a job, earn the money for, you know, probably two, three, four hours to buy this, pay some taxes, you know, have to claim more income, do things like that. Or I could spend an hour or two with my son just taking a couple trips, hanging out, talking, teaching him to have a work ethic. Uh, if you could see in the video, he helps. Now, he does he get the most help done? No, but guess what? If I allow him to help from the time he's young, by the time he is able to be a big help, he'll have all that much more experience, and I won't have discouraged him by that point. 
<clears throat> so very happy with this. Gonna go get some more and actually we found one uh, last year, two years ago. Well, it was just a full round bale, tipped off the side of the road not far from there. And uh, you know, it just sat there till it rotted. So I figured I'd rather store this over here by my animals, let them eat it eventually and uh, enjoy all that rather than just letting it go to waste. So I'll go get this unloaded and get another one. Can you help me with the hay? Your big brother? So, Papa Pepper, monster truck, back on the homestead. We got two big heaps of hay like that. It took us two loads. You know, they compacted into those round barrels, uh, round bales. Works pretty good, but uh, it gets all spread out when it busts open. So we had some fun, we did some work. Son, don't knock it all down, come on. And, uh, you know, we've got some extra hay now for free, right son? Hey, high five, where you at? All right, Papa out. As always, I'm Papa Pepper. And I'd like to remind you, don't post for free. If you'd like to be part of a revolution in social media, an economic power to the people where users can actually blog for cryptocurrency, then I'd recommend that you check out steemit.com and join the revolution. Pop out.